Hi everyone, it's Mike here. I've got another little shadow box project with you today. This time we're away with the fairies. I'm going to begin with a three inch piece of watercolour card and I've punched out a one and one eighth inch circle from a post-it note and I've just stuck that down with the sticky side to the top and with the blending tool and the archival ink Tiger Lily, which is a lovely orange colour. I'm going to apply some of the ink, starting from the outside and working my way into the middle with the blending tool to get an even kind of tone. Now I prefer to use the archival ink rather than distress ink because it is permanent. And now I want to bring in some darker tones, so I'm going to pop the orange away and I'm going to swap that for a deep purple. This is the archival ink in deep purple and I'm going to start applying that around the edges as well. And this gives us the impression that it's starting to get a little bit dark. And I think that's enough of the deep purple. So I'm just gonna bring the tiger lily back in again. And I'm just going to fill in that area at the bottom and then just blend out some of the more stronger lines with the purple. That's looking good to me. So I'm now just going to have a quick tidy up, get rid of that ink that's on my craft mat, and then I'm ready to apply my next color. So now we're all tidy, I'm going to bring out the fern green, there you go, and I've already torn a, another piece of post-it note which I'm going to apply towards the bottom to create a mask that's going to give me a little bit of a landscape kind of effect. I'm happy with the depth of colour on that now, so it's time to remove the masks. I'm also just going to get rid of that excess ink on my craft mat, just give it a wipe away and then we can move on to the next stage. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping now. So I've got my acrylic brock out and I've also got my jet black archival ink. And the stamp I'm going to use is an old one from my stash and it's from a company based in the UK called Lavinia Stamps. And this is a photopolymer stamp and it's called the Fairy Couple. Because I'm using watercolour card, obviously it's got a bit of a texture on it, so I'm not going to get a perfect impression with this stamp and with the archival link. So I am going to have to come in with a pen in a little while and just fill in a couple of areas that didn't quite catch. 
And to do that, I'm going to use this Stabilo Write For All Permanent Ink Pen. So I'm happy with the way the fairies now look. I'm also bringing out another old stamp. This is from Lavinia Stamps again, and this is a very small mushroom set. Now I did look on the Lavinia Stamps website and unfortunately I couldn't find this one on. So I think this is now discontinued. So using that Jet Black Archival Ink, I'm just going to go across the bottom of my image and stamp these little mushrooms at different intervals, at different heights, just to give it the impression that these are growing right the way along the bottom. And because we're dealing with fairies, we're also dealing with fairy magic and pixie dust. So I'm going to add some small accents of glossy accents onto the background of my picture just by putting some very, very small little dots. These will take a little while to dry, so when I'm done, I'm going to pop the picture to one side and then I'm going to start work on the frame. So this is the shadow box frame. It's very, very inexpensive from our local craft store and it is quite deep. So I'm going to decorate the front by using a similar sort of technique that I did on the inside. So I'm going to place this piece of card that I've torn to give me a kind of landscape effect. And then I'm going to use the archival ink potting soil and another blending tool and then I'm going to use that ink across the bottom with that mask. And because the frame is made out of wood, obviously it's a porous surface so the ink soaks in really, really nicely into the wood frame. Once again, I'm going to bring back those mushrooms. I'm just going to put a piece of card across the glass so that you're not staring at the camera, which is pointing directly down onto it. And again, using the archival ink, the jet black archival ink, I'm now going to stamp some of those mushrooms that we used on the base, on our main image, also onto the front of our frame. So if you take a look in the very top corner, or now the bottom right corner, you'll see there is a mushroom which appears to be floating in midair. So I'm just bringing that blending tool back in just to ground that one little mushroom that seemed to be floating. So just using that potting soil ink again, I'm just going to add some colour to the underside of that frame just so it, it ties it all together. So nearly there, I think. Now, looking at the frame, I thought there was something missing higher up. So it needed something else just to tie in, um, or add a little bit more detail. So I had a look at my other Lavinia stamps that I have, and I found this lovely little butterfly stamp set. Again, they're silhouettes like the rest. So I'm just going to use the Jet Black Archive link again, and I'm going to stamp some of those tiny butterflies just up the left and right hand side of the frame. So 
So I'm happy with the way that turned out, but I'm just having a quick look to see if there's any areas that haven't stamped correctly, and I'm just going to bring that pen back in again, the Stabilo Right For All pen, and just go over a couple of the mushrooms that didn't get a very good impression on the first stamping. I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out, so I think all that's left for us to do now is to put the frame and the picture together. I've just popped in the main picture and I'm just adding on the main back plate and then just adding on to that the little metal hanging tab that you can hang your picture on the wall with. And there you have it, a real cute three inch shadow box picture and frame. This would make an excellent present for somebody. Uh, it's not too big and it's not too small and it didn't take that long to create from start to finish. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little shadow box project. And if you did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. He won't say goodbye, but I'll say it for him. Bye for now.